we go again, huh, Mo? Yep. Man, it's been a long time. I've been wrapping your hands now, buddy. It's always an honor, bro. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. No, thank you for letting me. I wanted to be a good fight for the fans. So that's all I care about, you know what I'm saying? You know, I worked him, you know what I'm saying? Put hands on him, beat him up, and uh, try to break his spirit. But you know what? I really didn't break his spirit. His spirit was still there, but his body, his mind was shut down, you know what I'm saying? I set the tone for the rest of the night. You see this? Right. This gonna be an epic night of fights. Oh, My word, firepower, I don't know, uh, it's just it's just kind of something that I like, that I stuck with. Maybe one day you'll see my gym, firepower. And it's just what I believe in, you know, I just believe I bring the pain. And I go out there and I, and I try to show that to the fans and everybody every time. I was a little pissed off that he missed weight, you know, and, and they wanted to move it to a catch weight because then it turns into this big confusion, like, what happened, you know? And then it puts me in the shit show and it just pisses me off. So, you know, uh, it was extra motivation to go out there, but I mean, regardless, I would have still went out and did the same thing. Oh, my Grinchman at the moment. It's and all over, boys. It. It's all over. A lightning you know, Fighting on this show, uh, on this, uh, the new big Bellator, the entrance was sick. I wasn't even expecting an entrance. After like I was in the back behind the screen and they played it, I'm like, oh, f that just motivated the shit out of me. And uh, to fight for that, you know, I'm excited about the future. Hopefully, we get that title shot soon. The winner by knockout, my the Marine Richmond. I got a call that my dad had passed away. Um, it was about four weeks before the fight, and uh, you know, my dad had been battling cancer for over a year. I mean, it was really hard at first. It was really uh, difficult. The first uh, like four or five days was, was really uh, draining. And um, yeah, I mean, uh, throughout my career, I've always had things to overcome, and I've taken the hard road to get where I'm at, and uh, you know, I take a lot of pride in that. You know, my dad was really excited about this fight. I knew he, he was going to be watching it, and I'm going to put on the fight that he wanted to see. But here comes Joe Schilling. Eats another left hand. Oh my God! That is it. After I made it out of the first round, I was like, all right, all right I can do this. Pretty well known in kickboxing. I think uh, I was a big underdog in this fight by the MMA community. And uh, you know, I've been working really hard on my ground game to become a complete mixed martial artist. So I'm really excited for uh, what's coming this year. And I'll put it out there. I plan on being a Bellator middleweight champion within the next two years. talk like a champion, I walk like a champion, I love people like a champion would, I respect people like a champion would, so I've been a champion. I can take you far in life, you know, understanding who you are, understanding that you're still going to be searching throughout life, and I think I hit that point where I'm comfortable where I'm at, but I know that I'm going to change every single day, so I really transition into this fight. something because my rib moved and I was like, I, it was like stuck. Oh shit, I need something. And it just happened. 
I can't believe I finished it. Can't believe that. I said it this morning. Like I feel it in my bones. I'm finishing. Who's next? That uh, the one kid, uh, Marcy Held. Tell him I'll be here. You better get something more than just that leg lock stuff. He ain't leg locking these things, you know. I can hear his, his voice of him saying things, you know, um, saying about friends, uh, saying stuff about my family, and I just, I dislike Bonner 100%. But when guys talk about personal stuff to me, they bring the best out of me. You people that don't fight, you don't understand the pressure that goes behind somebody who fights. Uh, there's, no, there's no feeling like that in the world. Not letting anybody down is just so much on your shoulders that when it's just over and done with, it's like, oh, I can feel normal now. That's why I've been here for 17 years. Put your heart and soul, give it your all, and that's why fans love you. That's all I try to do. My heart took over. It was a tough fight. You know, I came in, I was slinging for the fences. I think I looked up at the, at the um, clock once and I was like, okay, cool, that's halfway through the round. I feel not too bad. And I remember the third round, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna look at the clock because I know he's more tired than I am. If I keep pushing, I'll be fine. Then I heard the 10 second ta ta ta, and I was just swinging for the fence, just trying to take his head off. It was funny because right before I walked out, it brought tears to my eyes. I was like, wow, we're doing this all over again. It's like my career is starting over again, and I got to put back in the work again. This, this, I'm ready to do it again. I, this, uh, you know, I'm, I'm 39 years old, but I feel you know, 39 years you're young. I feel young. And my body feels young. I feel good. I, um, it's nice when my body reacts. And you know, when I walked out, and it just felt like I was at home. Oh